Hi, everybody. Are you ready to hear the last two powers that you'll learn in 2021 when we do our Super Readers Unit? Well, here comes one of them. It's picture power. Picture power is like when we do our shared reading and we take a picture walk and we learn about the book through the pictures. Let's take a look in this book that we've been reading. I can jump. If I have trouble with this word, I see that I might, I might say he can jump, but then I see, oh, it's a picture of a girl, so she can jump. And notice when they put two people in, then it becomes we can jump. The picture helps us to know because when we talk about we, it's more than one person. Pictures are very important. They give us a lot of power in books. The last thing I want to show you is pattern power. There are patterns to many of the books that we read, including this book, Jump. Take a look at the pattern. I can jump. She can jump. We can jump. What's my pattern? Everything ends with can jump. And then the only word that changes is the first word. And the picture helps us to know what that, what that is. So let's go on. Now you see the picture of the bug, and instead of it's still, you, we still have the can and the jump, and we change to a bug can jump. And then we have that same pattern with a, uh, and this is the only word that changes. A frog can jump. Let's see if the next page follows the pattern. It does. A rabbit is the word that changes, can jump. Last time, last page we'll look at. A kangaroo can jump. Do you see what happened there? There's a pattern with the words can jump. And the different thing, animal, person that's jumping is what changes. That's called pattern power. If you figure out the pattern, then you know a good portion of the book. Check out the books you read today. See if you can pick out a pattern. Have fun and have a great day.